Welcome back YouTube. Today we will be fixing a P0172 code uh, system running to Rich. And this is for a Chevy Equinox that can work anywhere from 2011 to 2013. After troubleshooting the code, I came across three issues. The first one I hooked up my scanner, I was checking out the fuel trims. The fuel trims were on the lower side, they were on the negative. And the value was not really going up. So, you know, that was one of the issues. The second one was I pulled out the dipstick. Uh, I was checking out the oil and the oil kind of smelled like gasoline. So there is a mixture of gasoline and oil in the oil pan. So that's the second one. The third one would be the car would be sputtering. So when you turn the car off, it would take, there would be a small delay for the car to actually shut off. So that's telling me there's still fuel going into the, the uh, cylinder chamber and it's being sucked up by the uh, PVC system. All right, enough talking. Let's go ahead and replace this high pressure fuel pump. I do have the replacement here. It's a AC Delco unit. So I'll show you right now. Remove the negative terminal. That's already done. Remove the upper intake. Loosen the clamp. Remove the side hose. Loosen up the bottom clamp. Remove the oil cap. Remove the oil cover. Here is our high pressure fuel pump. I'm gonna cover the throttle body with the rag. Remove the connector. There is a 10 mil bolt right here. Another one underneath. Remove the side clip from the side. Now remove these two connectors. That way you have more space to work with. Grab the bracket, I slipped it to the side. We're gonna take this foam pad off. Now there's your pump. I'm gonna grab my flare wrench, 17 mil. Undo the nut, remove the clip. Put my special tool. To disconnect 10 mil bolt one two we'll be back forgot to mention to put a rag under the hose so that way you don't have any fuel leaking into any of the hoses or anything like that so let's go you might want to crack it slowly so that way you can release some pressure i got it right here nice and slow all right this struggle a little bit to take the fuel line from the connector I did use my special tool for removing fuel lines. All right, when installing the new part, start the thread from the bottom, put it in there, start the one, this one first, and then you go with the second hose, you put it last. So the high pressure fuel pump has been installed, fastened up by two 10 mils. I reconnected the fuel line, the bottom fuel line. I'm not gonna put this foam back I still have to check to make sure I don't have any more fuel leaks. So we're gonna put this all back together and we're gonna start and see if we got any fuel leaks. All right, let's start the car. Let the fuel run. There you go. Let's check. So it looks like our check engine light is gone. We're still gonna hook up the scanner and make sure we don't have it. We're gonna put everything back together, install the bracket, change the oil, very important to change the oil, and then we'll be back. All right, so I've been driving for about a good 10, 15 minutes. No more check engine light. Recheck my uh, scanner. There is no uh, active check engine lights in my ECU, so we are all good. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video. If you found this video helpful, please smash the like button. Consider subscribing. This will help me, you know, make more videos down the road for you guys. Uh, and if you have any questions regarding the repairs, 
please feel free to put them down in the comments below. I'm going to do my best to answer every single question. And until next time.